Okay guys, so today I've got a couple awesome themes to show you and I'm going to show you how you can easily grab these bad boys. Pretty awesome stuff. So this first one, my god, this comic book theme. It's so unique and different than any of the other themes that are out there. Just looks really awesome. Just the way everything is set, just sick. So we're going to go over how to, how to get this theme and how to utilize it. And then also how to get this theme, the NES Mini, the new version by Ruckage. Pretty awesome stuff. I love the way this theme looks, the way the, the little icons are and everything. It's an updated version from his previous version. But these, both of these themes are just so cool, awesome to look at, can get your setup looking real spiffy. So very easy to get. You don't have to do any kind of crazy manipulations with custom themes. These are both integrated into the emulation station theme, downloader, you know, that aspect of it. So in order to do that, we do have to do a couple steps first. If you're on an older version of RetroPie, you will have to do an update. So it needs to be updated to the newest version, and we'll go ahead, I've already done that, but you would do that by going to RetroPie Setup like we just did. Go in here, update your RetroPie Setup script, and then just update all your installed packages. Depending on your, your what you have installed, it could take a little while. Uh, for me, it didn't take too long, but once you got all that done, and you see I'm on version 4.2.3, go ahead and go into Configuration and Tools. So go ahead and hit enter on that, or A. And then we're going to scroll down to this bad boy, ES Themes. Install Themes for Emulation Station. Go ahead and click A on that bad boy, that little fellow right there. Now this is going to be where all of your themes are at that you can download, that, or you can install, essentially. And they're just ready to go after you install them. So there's a lot of cool stuff that I don't have installed, but I've used previously. Just tons of cool things. Um, just taking a look though, these two new themes that I just kind of showed you guys are going to be located toward the bottom. So you're going to scroll all the way down and you'll see right here, and update or uninstall NES Mini. Yours, if you haven't done this already, will say install NES Mini. Since I've already installed it, boom, good to go. You'll just click A to install it and it'll take a few minutes, you know, depending on your connection and other variables. It doesn't take too long. And then the comic is down here. Comic book is what, what that theme is called. Let's go ahead and click A on that guy, install it, good to go. There's also a 4x3 version that you can install. I'm not going to use it because I don't use 4x3 display, but it's cool that that option is on there. So once you have both of those installed or whichever one you want, it doesn't even matter if it wasn't one of the ones I just showed you. If you wanted something else, like the Futura is pretty awesome, Trunky Fran's pretty awesome, you know, tons. Of, a lot of these themes are really cool. It's going to be to each their own. Everybody's going to have different likes. But you can always go in here, install what you want to check out, and then uninstall them if you just don't want them on there. Most of these don't take up that much space to begin with. But really cool option to have. Now, once you're done fooling around with this stuff, installing everything, you know, you might go crazy, just install everything to check it out. Go ahead and click cancel to go back. Click, you know, scroll over to back, go back once more, and then go ahead and perform a reboot. Now, since I've already, you know, installed everything and rebooted, I'm, I'm good to go. But you should reboot before you utilize these, otherwise they may not work. They may not, you know, load up properly or right away. If you reboot it, everything's fresh and boom, your, your themes will be good. So, to get into your themes, to change them, you'll just hit your start button, go into user interface settings, hit A and then go down the theme set. Now this is where you could select. And you see I had the the, uh, the previous NES Mini that you had to go through and install yourself, which wasn't too difficult, but this has made things a lot easier to do since they were added to the actual script. And then there we go. We have our NES Mini and our comic book. So I'm already in the NES Mini. Let me go ahead and select comic book. So I've selected it. it, says my theme is set. You can also just scroll left and right once you're, you're on there. But I already have that set. Go ahead and click back. Sometimes it takes a moment, you know, it shouldn't be too long. And if you get this white screen in the back, you should still be fine. It'll just, you know, reload itself once you exit out and press B. So then there we go. Comic book theme. Awesome looking theme. 
both of them are awesome. You know, make your build the way you like it. Put the theme set you like. I think both of these are awesome options. Never seen anything like this comic book theme before. Just, just so slick the way it looks and the style of it and, and just everything to do with it. Just awesome in my opinion. I might just wind up using this. I really like the NES Mini one as well, so I'm kind of conflicted. But hey, if you have both of the themes installed, go back and forth whenever you decide you want to change the look of things. So there you go. Hope you guys appreciate it. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. I'll catch you guys next time. Boom.